Hi guys, welcome to the Seven Man Show with me, your host Sean. Today I've been asked to look into G3 Apparel Group. If you're not sure who they are, they're a global leader in fashion who own over 30 brands. Uh, some of those brands you'll under know DKNY, Kelvin Klein, and Tommy Hilfiger, to name just a few. Now, you can see a list of their brands on their website uh, and here they all are. You can have a look at the all the information they have on their web page but we aren't interested in just the information they have on their web page you can do that yourself <clears throat> they're considered to be been in the doldrums because their shares have lost 66.1 percent on a year-to-date basis to tell the truth you're going to pick them up picking them up at the two dollar range would have been the thing that way to go however with this sluggish retail business it's been marred for some time now you can see that even pre-covid 19 or rony rona for our friends across the pond as soon as it starts going and it goes upwards suddenly gets pulled back yeah and this is the same thing happens it has a spike up and spike goes back down again now has a low PE ratio obviously but the beta 2.6 isn't the sort of thing you'd expect from a company like this. Now, it has assets of two and a half billion and liabilities of 1.2 billion. So, which means that the current assets can pay off the liabilities and still have 100 million left over. You can Look at the cash flow, and you will see how the operating cash flow is 161 million. Uh, by the time doing expenditure, it comes down to 176 million. It still has cash on hand, basically. Now, you have 11% held by insiders. And the rest by institutions. You can see here as a forward PE of five. No. Gross profit of one point one billion. Revenue per share of sixty one. Right. Yeah. Book value per share twenty six point six eight, which which is good. Now the thing is pandemic has basically stumped on this it, I mean it shut down the company's physical stores the company shares have underperformed its industries 21 percent 21.4 percent decline now what's kind of rallied it is it announced restructuring plans for its retail unit which is believed to cut losses 
from underperforming locations making the segment profitable. Now weakness in underlying in line, sorry weakness in underlying brands have been badly hitting G3 Apparel's retail business. The first quarter of fiscal 2020 retail segments net sales fell nearly 59% from prior year quarters reported figures with the pandemic also hurting the segment's performance. Furthermore, the segment's gross margin uh, contracted 930 basis points to 35.9%. The performance has been weighing on the company's top line results. Apparently sales missed estimates for the seventh consecutive time in the physical, sorry, fiscal top quarter. Top quarter, sorry, forgetting how to speak. In the fiscal first quarter. The company also reported a wider than expected loss per share in the same quarter, breaking its 12 quarter long earnings best uh, beat trend. However, on June 4th, management informed that it has been on track with the restructuring of its retail business, including eliminating the underperforming stores. This restructuring includes shutting down of 110. Sorry about that. Of 110 Wilson's Lever and 89 GH Bass outlets. Liquidation of such stores was supposed to start immediately or as outlets reopened and it had also anticipated incurring a total charge of nearly $100 million in relation to the restructuring with the cash portion of roughly $65 million. Post restructuring, the retail unit will initially comprise 41 DKNY and 13 Coal Lagerfield Paris outlets. Also, it will have e-commerce sites for Donna Karen, Andrew Mark, Coal Lagerfield. I hope I pronounced that right. DKNY, Wilson's Lever, and GH Bass. Management had also completed a comprehensive review of the retail unit, and entered into at least termination agreements for most of the such stores. Apart from the company's soft retail business, its wholesale segments results were also dismal during the first quarter. Revenues segment were rough, down roughly 34% year over year, with its gross margin declining 530 BPS in said quarter. Nonetheless, G3 Apparel is optimistic about this segment given the strength in its five global power power back brands. Sorry, my voice is a bit. DKNY, Donna Curran, Calvin Klein, Tommy Hilfiger and Cole Lagerfeld. They're what they consider their five global power brands. Meanwhile, G3 Apparel's robust strategies include licensing of well-known brands to expand its product portfolio bode well. Also, the company remains on track with the process of bolstering brands across channels with new launches, improved marketing strategies and broader consumer reach. So, to tell the truth, It's no wonder that Zacks have given it a hold rating. It would be good to see it make a comeback in the future. But until COVID-19, until the vaccine or the cure is sorted, it's going to be different, difficult as with a lot of industries. However, while looking at a company like this that has a hold rating, you might want to look at a couple that have 
couple of alternatives. You know I always like to give alternatives. And you have BJ's Wholesale Club. It has a long-term earnings growth rate of 13.5%. Crocs. Personally, I hate them. I wouldn't wear them. But my family seem to love them. Has long-term earnings growth rate of 15%. And Duluth Holdings, DLTH, has delivered an average earnings surprise of 19.3% in the trailing full four quarters. Now, you've got to think, is your money best suited in this? Just because you like the brands? Or would you be better in one of the others? And don't forget to hit that lovely like button. Almost as lovely as me. Helps with the YouTube algorithm and getting the video out to more people. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Become part of the Saving Money Show family. We give each other hints and tips and updates about stocks and shares. We uh, talk about on the show. As well as that, you can... Ask me to look into any share you want and I don't charge a Discord fee or ask for a Patreon. All I do ask is for you to comment in the box below and hit the like button. Uh, even if you disagree with me, especially if you disagree with me, I like a debate. And if I do something wrong, I want you to call me on it so I can improve the channel. And why not check out the links in the description below. There's lots of others. I've used each one of them myself. I wouldn't give you links if I haven't checked them out myself. Uh, if you're looking for a free trading platform which should trade your stocks and shares, you know, you can get a free share worth up to £200 for signing up and depositing a small amount. A free trade only requires a £1 deposit. The others require £100 or dollars, depending on which one you go for. Stake has over 3,500 US stocks on their books, which is the biggest one outside of the US. Whereas Trading212 is one of the best and easiest platforms to use. But as I said, I use all three. Anyway, on with the show. In conclusion... The, something that isn't on the, all these sites people are saying that there are some green uh, other green shoots emerging in that under armor has helped apparel outperform now thing is that Just because it outperforms on the day doesn't mean it's not going to fall again. You now, it may be worth picking a couple up if you think it's hit the bottom and you want to try and time it. However, if you want it hit the get it at the bottom it would have got it when it was two dollars a share but the thing is you want to think to yourself how long do you have to hold it before it actually sorry about this sorry about this oh i'm putting myself to sleep i don't know how you guys put up with me uh how long do you have to hold it before it actually comes back and makes you guys enough money? That's why I gave you guys the alternatives, which should come back a lot quicker. Now, I'm not saying don't buy it. I'm just saying be prepared for a long wait. Remember, I'm just some idiot on the internet. What do I know? Anyway, I hope it's been helpful. And 
don't forget to leave a like and a comment in the box below it really does help with the youtube algorithm and i'll see you in the next video goodbye remember stay safe stay savvy stay investing see you later